Hi, this is Maria Palazzola with St. Louis Golf Lessons. Oftentimes a student will ask me, should I be gripping this with 10 fingers, overlapping or interlocking? Here's something I've learned on the lesson tee. When I get a student that has an interlocking grip, which is actually what I grew up doing and Jack Nicklaus does that, Tiger Woods does that, so we're not gonna knock it, but those are the students that I find struggling the most to get their hands comfortable. That interlock grip tends to cause some blisters and some rubbing, and they also tend to shove their hands together, and then they're ending up holding it in the palms where we don't wanna be. We'd rather be more down in the fingers. So I switched personally from an interlock to an overlap back when I was in college. I wanted to get rid of some of that hand pain, and I wanted to avoid too much right hand in my swing. So. I tend to start beginners, if they don't have a preference, with that overlap. You're just you're going from a 10 finger, you're just taking that pinky finger and sliding it down. And then if people are really struggling, actually as I've taught longer and longer, I've sometimes even gone back to a 10 finger grip. If someone's got short fingers or they've got arthritic hands and they just can't get comfortable with an overlap or an interlock, I've gone back to the 10 finger. So all three of them are good. What really matters is where you're positioning the club within your hands, not so much how you're joining them. So we want to find a good level of comfort and a grip that works for each individual student. Thanks. If you have a comment, please leave it and be sure to follow St. Louis Golf Lessons on social media and share our videos. We love it when you do.